Hello beer troopers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hoppets. Today looking at another beer that I got from Butik in Germany, in Bamberg. The Butik store down in Bamberg, courtesy of, well the guys at Butik. And specifically, I want to mention Enzo, who works there, who gave some vintage bottles from his own personal cellar. And also Miguel, who helped get the package up to Denmark, or get the package up to Denmark. So now, we're checking out a collab today guys, an Imperial Stout. I think this was the only Imperial Stout in the box. And this is a collab between Frau Gruber and Blechbrut. I reviewed Blechbrut IPA, uh, Doldensau, which was pretty pretty good, uh, but I've never had a Frau Gruber beer, and these guys are known pretty much for the IPA game, but I've never had any of their beer, so this will be fun. And this is their Tropical Chocolate Loop, and it's fun. It's an Imperial style of 9.3%, and it's brewed using uh, coconut, coca beans, and rum chips. So it's made with rum chips, so not barrel aged, but... The, the chips, which is cool, and it's uh, yeah 9.3%, and the fun thing is like, because they have these things in, you can't call it a beer in Germany, so they call it a Biermischgetränk, which is hilarious, that's what they put on like the Radler and whatnot, because it's mixed with things, so they call it a Biermischgetränk, which means a beer mixed drink, because they have other things, because of the Reinheit, I think this is just a great thing to put on the label, and that was awesome, I, I love that. Uh, just poking a little bit fun of the, the those old traditional rules, but tropical chocolate loop. This will be fun to try. I think this is pure ingredients. It's not extract or anything. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Pour is a pitch black color, pretty much in the glass. A little bit of a reddish note in the bottom, but that's about it. Nice tan, roasty looking head. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, toasted coconut for sure. Like this natural sweet almost like milky toasted coconut aroma. And I brewed a coconut, double mashed coconut imperial stuff last year with uh, my old brewmaster. And we use coconut, but also coconut extract on that one to make it taste a lot like the candy bar. And that one had like this crazy, like explosive pastry coconut aroma. This tastes more like real desiccated coconut. We also had that in the beer, but didn't use the extract as well, but it smells very nice. Also some vanilla tones, we could, could be from the oak chips, coconuts, toasty malt. It actually has a good amount of nuttiness, like toasted nuttiness, I feel like. Yeah, a bit of roast and whatnot. Smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. And thanks a ton to Beauty, Enzo, and Miguel for the beer. That's a very easy drinkable Imperial Stout. It almost drinks as it's like 6% or something like that. Super light in terms of alcohol flavor. Very, it's not like the thickest of mouthfeels, but it's, it's like quite fluffy actually. Coconut is there, toasted coconut, like this desiccated coconut type flavor. A little bit of the vanilla, which I think is from the chips. I don't. I wouldn't be able to say rum specifically, but there is a slight drying oaky quality to it. This is nice. It's kind of like you did, it's funny, it's not made with lactose, is it? It reminds me of like a milk stout or an oatmeal stout. Like, yeah, like an oatmeal stout you did stronger, but it's not as like thick and sludgy as some imperial stouts, but very nice coating and creamy all feel. So not super thick, but fluffy. There is an oat-like sweetness to it as well. Like that sweet oaty flavor and some roasted maltiness, but the big thing is like definitely like desiccated coconut flavor with some hints of vanilla and coca nibby type flavor as well. It's like it's one of those imperial styles that tastes like the actual ingredients and not like crazy pastry town. Uh, but it's very nice. It's it definitely making me want to try more beer from Frau Gruber. Uh, I've had, well, I actually, now that I think of it, I had their stout. It's called like Black Sun or something like that, I think. Uh, a black blackout sun black. I can't remember. I I had it at a a beer dinner, uh, paired with some shepherd's pie. But now yeah, this is nice. So red wise, I think like ninety three, ninety four. It's a very nice kind of like I'd say like oatmeal stout imperialized as type thing. It tastes like again a lower strength of beer than it is, which I guess is kind of good, making it super drinkable, very drinkable for nine point was it three percent alcohol. But it's nice stuff. Definitely make me want to try more for Uba and also Black Boat for that matter. 
So yeah, if you guys had a chance to try the Hog Ubai Blechboot Tropical Chocolate Loop. Let us know what you thought of this one, or let me know. Nice stuff, worth a shot for sure. If you're in Bamberg or in Germany, you can get this probably still on the boutique shops, or in the boutique shops. I think they do a web shop as well, where they only sell in Germany. But hey, check them out. And uh, thanks to Boutique for the beer. And as always, remember to come subscribe to the Facebook fan page, to Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm almost like, cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.